This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I want to help you with lesson 13, subtract with renaming. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Let's look at this homework helper and see here we have a problem that needs to be solved. So let's take a look. We have two minus one and one fourth. So you know that the first thing we do is write it in a column. Oops, my whole numbers need to be straight here. Okay, so I have two minus one and one fourth. Okay, so what I notice is I don't have a fraction here, so I can't subtract one fourth. But I do have a fraction here, we just don't write it. The fraction is zero fourths. Two and zero fourths means the very same thing as two. I can't do zero minus one, so I need to borrow. So I'm going to borrow from this 2, and I'm going to take that whole number and put it right here. When I write the whole number, it needs to be uh, in the same denominator that we're already using. And we already have a 4, so this needs to be 4 fourths. So 0 fourths plus 4 fourths equals 4 fourths. So now I can do 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3 and my denominator stays the same, 3 fourths, and then I go one, and then I do this part, 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, but we don't put a 0 in front of the fraction, just like we don't put a 0, for, like right here. So the answer is 3 fourths. Okay, and here is an example. Here are two holes. When I take that two hole and I subtract 1 and 1 fourth, I take this, this hole out, and then I'm taking out one fourth. So you can see I have one, two, three fourths left and that is the answer. All right, so let's look right here. It says to estimate then subtract. We're not going to estimate. That's not the skill that we're working on. So we're going to subtract and then write the difference in simplest form. Now this number here, oh, I, the denominator is the same. So I don't need to do the denominators first. But I ask myself, what's 1 minus 7? I can't do 1 minus 7, so I'm going to need to borrow from this 2. So when I borrow from the 2, I write the whole number using this same denominator. So it'll be 8 eighths. And I need to add these two together. 1 eighth plus 8 eighths is 9 eighths. So here I have 9 eighths, and I'm going to subtract 7 eighths. 9 minus 7 is 2. So I have 2 eighths, and then I have 1 minus 1, which is 0, so the answer is 2 eighths. Then I ask myself, can this be simplified? Oh, yes, it can. I need to get the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor for 2 eighths is 2. And I'll divide. 2, by, two divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the answer is 1 fourth. Okay, let's look at the next one. What I notice on this one is the denominators are not the same. So before I can subtract or borrow, I need to get a common denominator. So I have 4 and 3, so I'm going to think of multiples for 3 and multiples of 4. and Or I can even try timesing them together, but what my uh, multiple, what my lowest common denominator is going to be is 12. So I get my common denominator first. Oh, we did that. So I'll do 4 times 2 and 1 times 2. So 1 fourth. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed that up. From 4 to 12, I have to sub multiply by 3. So I'll need to multiply by 3 on the top. So I have 3 twelfths. And here I'm going to need to multiply by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And 2 times 4 is 8. So now I have 3 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. So I can't do that, so I'm going to need to borrow from 12 right here and put 11. And then I'll add this whole number, and I'm writing the whole number as 12 And I'm going to add these two together. So 3 twelfths plus 12 twelfths equals 15 twelfths. So now I can take this 15 and subtract 8. 15 minus 8 is 7, so I'll write 7 twelfths. And then I'll come back and do the whole number. 11 minus 5 is 6. So my answer is 6 and 7 twelfths. Then I ask myself, can this be simplified? Well, I can't think of any numbers 
that go into 7 and 12 except for 1, so it's already simplified. All right, you'll go ahead and do this, this problem the, the very same way. So you'll put it in a column and then work it out. Let's look at the back. Here we have Sherman's backpack weighs 6 and 1 fourth pounds. Bree's backpack weighs 5 and 3 fourths pounds. How much heavier is Sherman's backpack than Bree's backpack? How much heavier are keywords that tell me I need to subtract? So I'll write 6 and 1 fourth, and I'll subtract 5 and 3 fourths. And I'll go ahead and figure out the answer. Now I can see that we already have a common denominator. So I can just start by going 1 minus 3, which I can't do, so I'll need to borrow and then continue on. Let's look at number 5. Veronica jogged 10 and 3 16 miles in one week. The next week she jogged 8 and 17, 7 16 miles. How many more miles did she jog the first week? How many more is a key, are keywords that tell us to subtract? So you'll write it down and subtract. Number six, Coretta swam 7 and 1 8 miles. Joey swam 5 and 5 8 miles. How many more miles did Coretta swim than Joey? Okay, I also, I noticed that again, how many more? But I need to start with the big number, 7 and 1 8 and subtract 5 and 5 8 All right, let's look at this one. Ross has six yards of material, and he bought two and one third more yards. Then he used six and five six yards. How many yards of material does he have left? Well, the first line here tells me he has six, and he gets two and one third more. So I'm going to have to add those two numbers together. After I add them together, then he uses six and five six yards, and used is going to be subtract. So I'll work that problem out and then find the find the right answer. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.